but well, I could actually why not just show you. <laughs> so okay, so Shadow is a Shadow Mirror match. Um, Shadow would usually be controlling the Omega on the right, um, but if I turn him on, he's gonna beat the crap out of me. So uh, we're going to show you this uh, control. So in Future Fighter, the way the controls are built. They, there's kind of like an unlocking mechanism. So you have your normal controls. You can see me. Um, you can see me pressing the movement buttons. You have your normal combos uh, buttons, and of course you can you can make combos in any way that you that you want with these three main combo buttons. And then of course you have your uh, your link moves. Um, well, that's another one. Sorry, let me grab this controller so you can see what it does. You have your link moves. Are there any? Oh, yes. And those are all based off of your your standard controls. Now, the minute you press and hold and block, you completely unlock a new set of controls in Future Fighter. You unlock the parry function. So this is you're able to move and block at the same time you activate your counters so there's a strike counter there's a sweep counter which i like <laughs> um and there's a projectile counter here and there's more planned uh that's what it, we have right now I, the way i code is i use a base feature system and i lock that in for most if not all of the characters and build the game based on that then you know as as we have as new characters are invented the game changes because these can these char the characters i make they're not archetypes uh, of of game characters i approach it from a martial arts standpoint i've been practicing martial arts since i was five years old and you can see I'm an old man now. Oh, you see that gray hair? <laughs> I'm an old man now, so I, you know, I, I love more Schwartz. And when I create a character, it's not it's not a game based character. It is a I approach it from a martial arts standpoint. All these moves are motion captured from that, that I motion capture myself. I'm talking to you through my motion capture camera right now, <laughs> and so um, as the as these characters are invented. The game changes because, uh, as you can see, the Omen Knight here, you know, really big, heavy hitting uh, character. Definitely a little bit slower. Uh, when, oh shoot, excuse me, one second, knock the controller down. Anyway, you see when when Omega is moving, um, it's like he's floating. He, of course, is uh, is my digital doppelganger. This Omega is me in the game. That uh, he fights, he uses the same combos. Um, that I use, um, and I use these every week in my real life sparring experiences. But the the controls, though the base controls, everybody has the Omen Knight. Uh, he has he has basic combos, um, and then you can put those in any combination that you like. And he's got his link moves, uh, block breaker, I missed. As you can see, Oma Knight, he he's a he's a close fighter. Uh, so he's got his link moves, and I just copy the projectile for now. He's got a different projectile in design, but um, it's not in the game yet. Uh, but it works the same way in that when he is holding block and moving, he's in parry mode. And he activates his counterattacks through through block, uh, including the projectile counter. So if you like this, and you like this design talk, and if you like this game, go to docbrockgames.com and click right here, subscribe. And then click here and check out the alpha features of the game. Uh, they're all listed here for you, including both characters, a little bit about both characters, some cool screenshots that you can look at and learn a little bit more about some of the features in the game. And most importantly, come down here and put your 
email address in, and I'll let you know when this game is out. Then come back to YouTube, and we'll make more game. I'll see you then.